Hey guys, driving out here in the garden. This is one of my containers, my new containers in the, the new section of my garden. And in this one, I put four horseradish bare roots. And I've seen lots of videos that show you the full horseradish and how you know big they are before the harvest. And I didn't know what they looked like when they were teeny babies just coming out. So I figured I've got that going on right now. Why not share it? So in each of these little depressions there, you see the little, little kind of a dip below the, the higher ground. That is where the root is. And so, let's see here. You see that little guy? That is my baby horseradish just coming up. And I got another one over here. So this is the second of the four coming up. So you can see that this is the root. This is here and there's another leaf. And in here, I've got a cover crop of um, red clover. But since this is literally brand new, the bulk of the bed is, or the bulk of this container is um, uh, um, uh, turf that we pulled up from this area when we converted it. And we had all this turf. And so I've been throwing it in here and I know horseradish is tough and it will, it will, it will work its way through and, and pull nutrients out. So I'll be adding things to this over the year. Right now it happens to have coffee grounds on top of it, but, and there is another one, my third one. Let's see here. There we go. There you can see the little serrated leaves here. And then there's the smooth on one side and serrated on another. And a little baby one coming up. So there I've got three of my four are coming up. This one was not really an intended one, even like a tiny little sliver. So if it comes up, I'll be pleasantly surprised, <clears throat> but no sign yet. But that is what baby horseradish just coming up out of the ground looks like. Um, and I'm very excited. This is my first time I've ever grown horseradish. Um, this area is, I'm in zone 9B, so a freeze doesn't really happen. So I don't know if this horseradish will actually end up being all that good, but it's one reason why I put it in the container is if I've decided I don't like it and I don't want to grow it, I can pull it all out and I'm not stuck with horseradish growing all over the place. So anyway, that's what it looks like when it's just coming up. Y'all keep having fun in your gardens. Bye.